Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for another ColourPop shopping cart video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link some of my other shopping cart videos down below. Basically, what I do is break down my recommendations and show you what the actual shopping cart looks like. That helps us keep track not only of what I've recommended, but also what the total cost of those recommendations would be. This is a great framework for me because it not only helps me stay in my price limit, but I can also recommend different carts for different people. Typically what I'll do is make a neutral lover's cart a color lover's cart and then an Amanda cart, which typically ends up being somewhere in between. I did one of these videos around the time that ColourPop released their holiday collection, and I have a feeling that this is something I'm going to continue to do as a series on my channel. For the ColourPop shopping cart videos, what I'm doing is breaking down their latest releases. I think I'm going to do this quarterly, so I'll take all the latest releases. I'll give you my suggestions for the top of the top picks. ColourPop has released a ton of new things since they dropped their holiday collection on us. This is nothing new. ColourPop is always cranking out new products. Just so that we're really clear, my recommendations are only on the latest releases that ColourPop has dropped since holiday. They have released six brand new products. So just formulas and things that we've never seen them do. That's lip balms, lip scrubs, mascara, the liquid liner, the So Juicy glosses, and then the Velvet Blurred lipsticks. They've done three influencer collabs, so another round with Karen from I Love Sarai. They also did another collab with Kathleen Lights, the Zodiac pigments, and then the Zoella brunch date collection. They've done two shade extensions for existing products, so they brought out a bunch of new single eyeshadows, pressed eyeshadows. They also came out with a ton of new lippy pencils, so they discontinued a bunch of the old ones, brought out some new shades, those got new packaging. They've dropped two new nine pan eyeshadows, and then two huge new collections, their Spring Collection and the Disney Villains Collection. So those are the only products I'm talking about today. This is my way of helping you sort through all the new things that they drop and telling you what I think you would like the most. All of these products are things that I have tried. Many of them I have reviewed, but I'm not gonna recommend something that I haven't tried. So I will link a bunch of these product reviews that I have previously posted on my channel down in the description box. If you see anything that you're interested in hearing more about, make sure you check out down there. I have most likely done a video about it. Your girl does a lot of ColourPop videos. Okay, let's start with the neutral cart. I will show you all the products here. I'm gonna show you the shopping cart over here. We're gonna keep track of everything we're talking about. For the neutral lover, the first palette that I wanna recommend is the brunch date palette. This is part of their collaboration with Zoella. I did not get around to doing a review on this collection, but I will say I think this palette is absolutely adorable. I love the packaging. The shades are perfect for a neutral lover, especially if you really like pink, rose gold, bronzy type of shades. There is a whole lot of that in here. There is the sometimes dreaded pop of blue in there as well, which I think a lot of neutral lovers really like, just that one colorful shade. So the Burn State palette, super, super cute, great for a neutral lover. That one comes in at $18 and we are gonna put that baby right in the shopping cart. The next palette that I wanna recommend for the neutral lover is the Sweet Talk palette. This is from their spring collection. This palette is a pinky, corally kind of color scheme, but I do think this is gonna appeal more to the neutral lover. It's not super colorful, but it definitely has a little bit more color and shine going on than the brunch date palette. So there's not a lot of overlap between the two, especially because the Sweet Talk palette has some of those pressed glitter 
pictures. So if you want to experiment with your look a little bit, you don't necessarily have to do color. You can play with texture as well. And those glitters are a really great way to do it. That Sweet Talk palette is 18 bucks. Next, I would definitely recommend one of the Zodiac pigments. I would either go with the Scales or the Twins. So the Twins is going to be a little bit more warm toned. The Twins, I think, would work really well in conjunction with the Sweet Talk palette. Or you can go with the Scales. This one is more of a baby pink, also has a cool blue duochrome type of shift to it. The Scales would work really well in conjunction with the Brunch Date palette. So just depending on which one of those color schemes you're more drawn to, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these Zodiac pigments to go along, play along with those palettes. And the Zodiac pigment is $6. Lastly, for eyes, you're gonna see a theme here. I am really into the Jelly Mud shadows. I will be recommending Jelly Mud shadows in all of the carts. I'm gonna recommend two Jelly Mud shadows in the Neutral Lovers cart. One is from the Disney Villains collection, the shade Perfectly Wretched. This is a beautiful, icy, kind of beigey, champagne white color. This is gonna be a great inner corner highlight if you're looking for a really simple, just all over lid color. This is the kind of color that's gonna look beautiful. If you love a neutral, this kind of shade is a staple. The other Jelly Mud shade that I would recommend to my neutral loving friends out there is a beautiful metallic deep warm bronze shade from the spring collection it's called whistling pixie these two could also work together to make a really beautiful simple two shade look so i gotta have both of those in my neutral lovers cart those are eight dollars a piece so that comes out to 16 for the jelly mud shadows that rounds up my eyeshadow recommendations i only have one cheek product if you watched my disney villains video then you are not going to be surprised by this at all this product will be in every single cart because i am so so hooked on this highlighter this is the super shock highlighter called mistress of all evil i love this highlighter. This has to be one of the most beautiful highlighters I have ever put upon my cheekbones and that's why this gorgeous $10 product is going to be in every single one of these carts. Fair warning. Now we're moving into the lips section of our neutral lovers cart. First up is the new So Juicy Glosses. My favorite shade is Dress Code. I think this is gonna be universally flattering across all skin tones. I think anybody's gonna like this for a just throw on and go, keep in your purse kind of shade. I talk about this formula a lot more in depth in the video I did about it. You know the drill, description, check it out. You got it, you got it. This So Juicy Gloss is $7. Now for the rest of my recommendations, I'm gonna be giving you some different shade options just depending on your preference, your skin tone. Because neutrals, nudes are just so different for everyone, so I do wanna give you some options here. Forgive me if I'm recommending too many things, but. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I would recommend one of the Luxe lipsticks from the Disney Villains collection. If you prefer a lighter, more peachy nude, then go for the shade Hades. If you're looking for something a little bit more mid-tone, rosy nude, then Dr. Facilier is the shade you want. Depends on which kind of nude you like, but those are $8 a piece, so just pick one of those bad boys throw it in the cart. Same kind of deal for the Lux Blur lipsticks. I do quite like this formula. It's very lightweight. It's the kind of matte lipstick that I think a lot of people are going to find to be very comfortable. It's nice and buildable. If you prefer a lighter, more peachy kind of tone, so if you were going for Hades from the Disney Villains Collection, you're probably going to like Hey Mr. DJ. And if you're looking for something a little bit more mid-tone, then I would recommend the shade California Love. This one's cool because it's a bit more neutral undertone, so I think a lot of people are going to find this shade flattering as well. The Lux Blur lipsticks are $7 a piece. Very last item that's going in the Neutral Lovers cart 
is one of the new lippy pencil shades. The lippy pencils are $5 a piece. I'm gonna give you three different shade recommendations here. If you like a lighter nude or if you have a fair skin tone, go with the shade Good and Plenty. It's my personal favorite. If you are looking for something a little bit deeper, more mid-toned, then Good and Plenty, then the shade Little One is probably what you're looking for. This one's a little bit deeper than Good and Plenty, still very mid-toned. And if you want something very deep and vampy, or if you have a very deep skin tone, then take a look at the shade CTRL. Whew, okay, that's it. That's everything that's going into our Neutral Lovers cart. The Neutral Lovers cart is well loaded. For $95, you're getting 10 products. Two of those are eyeshadow palettes. I feel like this is a pretty great way to spend my $100 budget on some neutral goodies from ColourPop. Now, let's get into the Color Lovers cart. Color Lovers, ColourPop has really been going hard for you lately. This cart was actually pretty difficult for me to narrow down because there have been so many beautiful, very color-driven releases lately. Let's start off with eyes again. First thing I have to recommend is the Misunderstood palette. This is a pretty high dollar item. It's $22, which is pretty expensive for ColourPop. This is nearly one quarter of my budget, but I am just so in love with this palette. It's a beautiful balance of some neutrals and some really gorgeous pops of color. So I think any color lover is gonna love working with these shades. Of course this is from the Disney Villains collection and this has to be the first thing I add to the cart. The next thing I want to recommend is one of the new nine pan palettes. Either It's My Pleasure or Just My Luck. It's My Pleasure is the more pink and purple kind of monochromatic palette and Just My Luck is the very, very green palette. This just depends on your preference. I know a lot of people were clamoring for that green palette. Personally, I prefer It's My Pleasure, but I do think either one of these is a beautiful choice. Very happy with the formula, and if you like color, you're definitely gonna get it here. Of course, I warned you, more Jelly Much shadows. Lately, they've been coming out with a lot of really great colors in the Jelly Much formula. I'm gonna recommend this blue shade from the Disney Villains collaboration. It's called Just Your Voice. It's the Ursula shade. It is a gorgeous, really bright blue. I also think you should check out one from the spring line called Photosynthesis. This is basically the Telepathy Super Shock Shadow in a Jelly Munch formula, and it looks so, so gorgeous on. If you're looking for something bold, both of these shades are really gonna do it for you. This was hard to choose because there are so many great colors, but if you wanna go full color, I think you're gonna be happy with these shades. Next, from the Zodiac pigments, this shade called The Ram is so incredible. It is a very, very vibrant, bright coral. It's loaded with gold glitters. It's just too insane to describe. For those who love bold, bold eye looks. The Ram is what you're looking for. I have not seen anything else like this. Such a gorgeous color. You're definitely putting the Ram pigment in this card. Next, for the color lover, I want to recommend one of the BFF mascaras. They came out with a bunch of really great colors. My personal favorite is the purple shade. It's called Purple Pros. If you like the It's My Pleasure palette, Purple Pros mascara just perfectly goes with that to give you that really bold monochromatic purple look. But all of the colors are pretty amazing, so I would just recommend any of them, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna recommend Purple Pros because it's my favorite. Same thing for the BFF liquid liners. So many cool colors. Personally, I think that the standout is the green shade called The Hills. So if you're really into the Just My Luck palette, then you're definitely gonna like The Hills Green Liquid Liner. This is another one that you're not really gonna go wrong. It's just which color do you prefer? Both the mascara and the liner are $8 a piece. So those are gonna finish up the eyes portion of the Color Lovers card. I do wanna mention that their new pressed powder singles came out with a bunch of gorgeous colors. 
I definitely recommend those, but I already spent a lot of my budget for this Color Lovers cart on eyes, so I'm not adding any of those to the cart. But if any of these palettes really weren't doing it for you, then I would suggest go check out their new single shadow shades. I did swatch all of those in a video if you wanna see what they look like. I did wanna mention that because I do really, really like those, but you know, a girl's on a budget here. $100 is already a lot of money, so it's not trying to push it. Of course, the Maleficent highlighter, Mistress of All Evil, going in the cart, I just, I don't have any more words. There are some more bold choices, just depending on if you have a deeper skin tone or if you're looking for something a little more outside the box, but this one is just my favorite, so across the board is going in every cart. Now for lips, I only have the budget for two lip products. The first thing I'm gonna recommend is the Velvet Blur Luxe Lipstick in the shade Super Bloom. If you like bold, bright lips, especially for spring and summer, I think you're gonna like this shade Super Bloom. It is a really, really intense, almost neon shade. So Super Bloom is $7, add it to the cart. And lastly, I'm gonna recommend one of Disney Villains Luxe Lipsticks. If you like something darker, deep, vampy, if you're going for that bold look, then go for Ursula. But if you like something really, really bright, which I think is a great way to go, especially in spring, summer, when bright makeup is definitely on trend right now. For the color lover, I would say Maleficent or Cruella. You'd be really happy with either one of those. All $8 a piece. Add that to the cart. The color lover's cart is finished up here. This one came in at $97. Again, 10 great products to choose from. Now let's get to my favorite part of these shopping cart videos. It's the Amanda cart. These are my favorite things. This is really going to be a balance between neutral and color. I kind of like to dabble in both. So these are my absolute favorite things from ColourPop's latest releases. First up in the Amanda cart is the Misunderstood palette. I've already raved about this enough, so I'm just gonna put it in the cart. That one's $22. Next is the It's My Pleasure palette. I was really, really in a purple phase there for a while, and this palette is just so beautiful. For $12, you cannot beat it. So that is definitely in my must-haves. To go along with that, I would also add the BFF Mascara in Purple Pros. Love using this on the lower lash line when I'm wearing my It's My Pleasure palette. Again, that mascara is $8. For the Zodiac pigments, my top two absolute favorites are the Twins and the Archer. The Archer is another one that plays really well with the It's My Pleasure palette. Plus, I'm a Sagittarius and the Archer is the pigment for Sagittarius, so it just works out perfectly. Those are $6 a piece, adding those to my cart. And lastly, for eyes, I would probably spend my entire budget just on Jelly Mon shadows, but I don't think that would make for a very interesting video. So I'm gonna add my top two Jelly Much shadows. First is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is from the Spring Collection and it's called Late Bloomer. So, so beautiful. I keep getting distracted by my eye makeup today. My other pick for the Jelly Much is also from the Spring Collection. This one is Doves and Roses. Again, just a gorgeous, almost like yummy shade. It's a beautiful, bold coral with some shimmery gold glitters in it. Love both of these. Would I like to add more Jelly Munch? Yes, I would, but I don't have the budget for it. So these two are going in my cart. They are $8 a piece, and that rounds up the eyes portion of the Amanda cart. Next, you know what's coming. Mistress of All Evil Highlighter. I'll try not to rave any further about it. It's $10. It is absolutely going in my cart. Now for lips. One that I recommended in the neutral cart is the So Juicy Gloss in the shade Dress Code. That one is $7. And one that I like to pair with that is the Lippy Pencil in the shade Good and Plenty. This is such a beautiful, very light, neutral nude on me. So Good and Plenty Lippy Pencil with Dress Code So Juicy Gloss is a perfect, like easy, breezy kind of nudie lip for me. Both of those are going into my cart. And lastly, my 
favorite Lux lipstick shade that ColourPop has come out with lately is this beautiful light coral shade from the spring collection called You're Thriving. I'm so surprised by how much I've enjoyed this because it's not typically the shade that I go for, but that's kind of what I like about it. That one is $8. It's the last item in my cart and my cart came out to exactly $100. I was able to get 11 items in there. I've got to hurry up and release this video before ColourPop drops like five new things on us because you know they are not sleeping. They are tirelessly cranking out new products for us. So I'm sure in a couple months I will have another one of these recommendation videos for you. I do want to mention that the $100 shopping cart is just a framework for me to work within. I definitely by no means am saying you need to go and spend $100 on makeup. That's a lot of money that you worked very hard for. It just helps me build my top recommendations. Otherwise, I would probably just recommend pretty much everything. <laughs> Now's the time when I want to hear what you guys think about all these new releases. Have you purchased anything from ColourPop lately? What are your favorite items that they've brought out since holiday? I always love to hear what you think about things too. Please leave a comment. Let me know what are your favorites, what are your least favorites. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Although I have, I have, help. So, I did, ma'am, are you chopping things? What's that? Check it out on my channel. <laughs> Mm. Nails would work. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Words are hard. The uh, uh, especially recent, 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 may, 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 ma pull it together. A lot of much of the jelly much. I'm running out of space. Help. Cool toned, mid toned, pinky peep. That didn't even make sense to me. And I'm sure somebody will comment like, um, actually, so the neutral. <laughs> and we all have <laughs> $95 is a lot of money. Oh boy. I still don't know how to work my new camera. That's the thesis. Reboot. Restart. Did I just say that? <sighs> Running out of steam. I am. Running out of steam here. Is it safe? Whew. About to lose my voice. This eyeshadow though. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. I promise a jelly much video is on the way. I promise. I'm working on it, okay? So many people keep asking for it, it's gonna happen. I promise you, I will make it for you. Okay, gotta go, bye.